Felix Ismail Rodriguez Mendigudia, born the 31st of May 1941, is a former Central Intelligence Agency paramilitary operations officer in the famed Special Activities Division, known for his involvement in the Bay of Pigs invasion and the execution of communist revolutionary Che Guevara, as well as his ties to George H. W. Bush during the Iran-Contra affair. He is a Cuban American. Topic Biography Rodriguez came from a wealthy family of land owners in his native Cuba. His uncle was Minister of Public Works during the Fulgencio Batista dictatorship. He attended the Perkiomen School in Pennsylvania, but dropped out to join the Caribbean Anti-Communist Legion, created by Dominican dictator Rafael Trujillo, with the intention of ending communism in Cuba. The invasion of Cuba was a failure and Rodriguez went back to Perkiomen. He graduated in June 1960, and went to live with his parents in Miami, where thousands of Cuban exiles had moved. In September, 1960 he joined a group of Cuban exiles in Guatemala, supported by the Central Intelligence Agency CIA, to receive military training. They were called Brigade 2506. Topic. Bay of Pigs invasion Rodriguez participated in the Bay of Pigs invasion as a paramilitary operations officer with the CIA's Special Activities Division renamed Special Activities Center in 2016. He clandestinely entered Cuba a few weeks before the failed Bay of Pigs invasion. Utilizing his familiarity with the country, he was able to gather critical intelligence that was used in the planning and preparation of the invasion. His colleagues in the CIA included David Atlee Phillips, David Morales, Ted Shackley, E. Howard Hunt, Frank Sturgis, and Porter Goss, among others. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bolivia. In 1967, the CIA again recruited Rodriguez to train and head a team to hunt down Che Guevara, who was attempting to overthrow the U.S.-backed government in Bolivia and replace it with a communist regime. He and Guevara spoke civilly regarding the failing economy of Cuba and Guevara's tactics in starting a revolution in Bolivia. Rodriguez stated that he wanted to keep Guevara alive for further interrogation, but was thwarted by the order of the Bolivian president that Guevara be summarily executed. Rodriguez, whose cover was that of a Bolivian army major, repeated those orders, later stating that it was a Bolivian decision, and Guevara was killed. Rodriguez has in his possession Guevara's Rolex wristwatch. The last photograph of Guevara alive includes Rodriguez standing by his side, but according to Dino Brugioni, former senior official at the CIA's National Photographic Interpretation Center, NPIC, it is a photomontage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vietnam He became a U.S. citizen in 1969, soon enlisting in the United States Army. During his career with the CIA he also went by the name Maximo Gomez. He was awarded the Intelligence Star for Valor by the CIA and Nine Crosses for Gallantry by the South Vietnamese government. He was codenamed Lazarus after his survival of the Bay of Pigs invasion operation. In the Vietnam War, Rodriguez flew over 300 helicopter missions, and was shot down five times. In 1971, Rodriguez trained Provincial Reconnaissance Units PRUs. PRUs were CIA-sponsored units that worked for the Phoenix Program. The Walsh Report states Chapter 29 during the Vietnam War, Donald Gregg supervised CIA officer Felix Rodriguez and they kept in contact following the war. Rodriguez also reported to Ted Shackley during the Phoenix program. Shackley became Bush's top aide for operations when he directed the CIA. Greg later became national security advisor for Vice President Bush. Rodriguez was in frequent contact with him regarding arms for the Contras. In 1970, after the Cambodian incursion, Bien Hoa CIA spymaster Oren de Forest worked with Rodriguez, whom he described as the CIA's hotshot pilot", 
and his crew in rolling up the Viet Cong stronghold of Van Tin in South Vietnam. Rodriguez flew above the village in a Loachlight helicopter and marked target houses holding VC suspects with orange smoke, after which the crew went in and emptied the houses of occupants, lined them up, whereupon they identified suspects with the assistance of a former VC leader who had been previously captured and was now cooperating with the CIA whom DeForest identified as Bar Tung. The operation netted 28 VC cadre who had been living openly among the South Vietnamese people but working to assist the North Vietnamese overthrow their southern neighbors. The mass arrest and detention of subregion 1 VC cadre was the largest operation of its type during the war and for all intents and purposes broke the VC hold on their stronghold of Van Tin. Topic Iran Contra There is extensive documentation of Rodriguez' ties to U.S. Vice President George H. W. Bush during the Iran Contra affair, from 1983 to 88. In September 1986, General John K. Singlaub wrote Oliver North expressing concern about Felix Rodriguez's daily contact with the Bush office and warned of damage to President Ronald Reagan and the U.S. Republican Party. The Walsh Report chapter 25 states that M. Charles Hill took notes at a meeting between George Schultz and Elliot Abrams on 16 October 1986, as follows, Felix Rodriguez sick Bush did know him from CIA days. F. R. Rodriguez is ex-CIA. In LSALV Ador, he goes around to bars saying he is buddy of Bush. A Y E R A G O P D X Poindexter and Oli North told VP staff stop protecting F R as a friend. We want to get rid of him from his involvement. Sick W I T H Private Ops. Nothing was done, so he still is there shooting his mouth off. Brackets are in the original. Rodriguez met with Donald Gregg, who by then was Bush's national security advisor. The Walsh Report chapter 29, states, Gregg introduced Rodriguez to Vice President Bush in January 1985, and Rodriguez met with the Vice President again in Washington, D.C., in May 1986. He also met Vice President Bush briefly in Miami on May 20, 1986. Rodriguez also met and spoke repeatedly with Bush's advisor Gregg and his deputy, Col. Samuel J. Watson III. As one indicator of this connection, a single chapter in the Walsh Report titled Donald P. Gregg chapter 29 contains 329 references to Rodriguez. On the 5th of October 1986, the Corporate Air Services C-123 carrying Eugene Hassenfuss was shot down over Nicaragua, killing two U.S. pilots, William H. Cooper and Wallace B. Sawyer Jr., and one Latin American crew member. Rodriguez unsuccessfully attempted to call Greg to inform him of the missing plane. He reached Watson, who in turn notified the White House Situation Room. The following day, Rodriguez called Watson again and told him that the airplane was one of North's. Hassenfuss told reporters that he worked for Max Gomez, an alias for Felix Rodriguez, and Ramon Medina, an alias for Luis Posada Carrils of the CIA. On 10 October 1986, Claire George, head of CIA clandestine operations, testified before Congress that he did not know of any direct connection between Hassenfuss and Reagan administration officials. In fall of 1992, George was convicted on two charges of false statements and perjury before Congress. He was pardoned Christmas Eve that year by then President Bush. Activism In 2004 Rodriguez became president of the Brigade 2506 Veterans Association, a group for Bay of Pigs invasion survivors. During the 2004 U.S. presidential election, Rodriguez was highly critical of Democratic candidate John Kerry, due in part to their previous meeting at a Senate subcommittee on terrorism and narcotics hearing in 1987. During one session Kerry accused him of soliciting a $10 million donation from the Colombian cocaine cartel. The story had originally come from Ramon Millian Rodriguez, a convicted money launderer from Colombia. Rodriguez referred to Kerry as, "...a liar and self-promoter," and said he, "...should not be president." During the 2004 presidential election Rodriguez campaigned strongly for George W. Bush. He admitted his main motivation was, "...to get the real word out about John Kerry." 
Others accused him of seeking revenge against Kerry for the Kerry Committee report. In 2005, Rodriguez oversaw the opening of the Bay of Pigs Museum and Library in Little Havana, Florida, and also became chairman of the board of directors.